hello and welcome to my channel and this week's yoga class is all about back stretching so to start with we're going to bring the hands to the knees we're going to close the eyes if you want to and need to lift the hips up please feel free to sit on a block we're going to take three grounding deep breaths so as you breathe in inflate the whole body As you breathe out, squeeze the belly button in, pressing all the air back out. We'll do two more like that. going to open the eyes and as we inhale we're going to bring the arms up as we exhale right arm comes to the mat left arm over the top for a side stretch really trying to open up that elbow looking towards the ceiling breathing in arms come back up as you breathe out left arm to the mat right arm over the top again opening up that elbow looking towards the ceiling and stretching that whole right side of the body and then coming back to center breathe in arms come up as you breathe out right hand goes behind left hand comes to the right knee you're just twisting yourself round Breathe in, come back to the center, bringing the arms up. As you breathe out, left hand behind, right hand on left knee, twisting around the other way. Breathing in, coming forwards, bring the arms up. And as you breathe out, we're just gonna fold forwards, bringing the hands to the floor, releasing the head, taking a deep breath here. And then just walking ourselves back up to seated. Good. We're going to come onto all fours, making sure that the knees are under the hips and the wrists are under the shoulders. We're going to do three rounds of cat cow. So we're going to breathe in, pulling the shoulder blades together, dropping the belly. Breathing out, round in the back, tucking the chin to the chest. Breathe in and up. And out and down. Breathe in and up. And out and down. Come to a neutral flat back. We're going to keep the hips over the top of the knees. And just gradually walk the hands away, bringing the head all the way down to the mat for puppy pose. If you have a lot of flexibility in your shoulders, you can bring the hands up onto the fingertips just to help open the shoulders a bit more. We'll take a couple of deep breaths here, just really stretching and opening up the shoulders and back. Bring the hands back down flat. Start lifting the head, walking the hands back. We're then gonna tuck the toes under and push the hips up and back for our first down dog. Feel free to pedal the feet, stretch out the back of the legs. Trying to get a nice flat back. So you're pushing the back towards the thighs, looking towards the feet. The feet don't have to be flat to the floor. You can even bend the knees slightly if that's more comfortable. We'll take one more deep breath here. And then on your next exhale, we're just gonna walk the feet towards the hands. Big breath in, come all the way up. Bring the hands to prayer. As you breathe out, bring them down to heart center. And we'll go into our first sun salutation. 
Breathing in, take the arms up. As you breathe out, we'll go down to the toes. Breathe in, half lift, flat back. As you breathe out, bring the hands to the mat, either jump it or step it back to plank. Breathe in here. Either knees, chin, chest, all the way to the floor, or chaturanga. Breathe in for up dog or cobra. As you breathe out, tuck the toes under, up and back, down dog. Breathe in here. As you breathe out, either step it or jump it forwards. Breathe in, half lift. As you breathe out, we'll go into our first back stretch. So to start with, we're just going to take the hands to the elbows, release the head. You can micro bend the knees. You can even sway side to side. We're just trying to open up the back. Take one more deep breath here. Release the hands to the floor. Big breath in, come all the way up. Hands to prayer. As you breathe out, bring it to heart center and we'll go again. Breathe in, arms come up. As you breathe out, we're going down to the toes. Breathe in, half lift, flat back. As you breathe out, bring the hands to the mat, either jump it or step it back for plank. Breathe in here. As you breathe out, either knees, chin, chest, all the way to the floor, or chaturanga. Breathe in for up dog or cobra. Breathing out, tuck the toes under at the back, up and back, down dog. Breathe in here. As you breathe out, either walk it or jump it forwards. Breathing in for half lift. And as you breathe out, we're going to see if we can stretch a bit further. So you're just going to see if you can get to your toes. So if just hanging is enough, do that. If you can get to the floor, then great. If you can get hold of those big toes, wrap the index finger around and just tuck the head towards the knees. Again, we'll take two deep breaths here. Release the toes, big breath in, come all the way up. Bring your hands to prayer as you breathe out. Bring the hands to heart center. And we'll go into our sun salutation B. As you breathe in, bring the arms up. As you breathe out, we're taking the hands as wide as the shoulders, leaning back, dropping down for our chair pose. Tucking the tail under, pulling that belly button in. Breathe in here. As you breathe out, release to forward fold. Breathe in, half lift, flat back. As you breathe out, bring the hands to the mat, either jump it or step it back for plank. Breathe in here. As you breathe out, either knees, chin, chest, all the way to the floor, or chaturanga. Breathe in for up dog or cobra. As you breathe out, tuck the toes under, up and back, down dog. Breathe in, take the right foot towards the ceiling, bend the knee, stack the hips. As you breathe out, step the foot between the hands and drop that left knee to the mat, flatten the foot. Breathing in, you're bringing the arms back round and up for our low lunge. So we're gonna utilize this as a bit of a back bend. We're gonna take two deep breaths here, just leaning it back to wherever is comfortable for you. If having the arm straight up is uncomfortable, bring it to a cactus arms to the side. Wherever you are, we'll take one more deep breath. And then as you exhale, bring the hands to frame the foot. Pop up on the back toes, stepping back as you breathe out into your plank. Breathe in here. As you breathe out, either knees, chin, chest, or all the way to the floor. Or chaturanga. Breathe in for up dog or cobra. As you breathe out, tuck the toes under, up and back, down dog. As you breathe in, take the left foot to the ceiling this time. Bend the knee, stack the hips. As you breathe out, step the foot between the hands and bring the right knee down and flatten the foot. 
as you breathe in bring the arms back round and up for a low lunge on the other side we're going to take that back bend again to whatever is comfortable for you for two deep breaths again if having the arms straight up is uncomfortable bring them down into a cactus position wherever you are leaning back we'll take one more deep breath And as you breathe out, we'll bring the hands back down to frame the foot. Pop the back toes up. Stepping back for plank as you breathe out. Breathe in here. As you breathe out, knees, chin, chest all the way to the floor or chaturanga. Breathe in for up dog or cobra. As you breathe out, tuck the toes under, up and back, down dog. We're going to take a deep breath here. And then instead of finishing off the sun salutation, we're actually going to bring the knees down into a wide leg child's pose, sitting it back, reaching far, help stretch out that upper back, relaxing the head, and we'll take five deep breaths here. Good. We're going to walk the hands over to the left. As far as you can go. As far as comfortable. So you get a nice stretch in the upper right back. Release the head back down to the mat. We'll take three deep breaths here. We're going to walk it back to centre. And then over to the right. Releasing the head back down. Getting a stretch all the way through that right upper back and shoulder. Three deep breaths. And then walking it back to centre. Good. You're going to bring yourself up to a tabletop position. And then tuck the toes under, up and back, down dog. I'm going to take a deep breath here. And on your next out breath, we're just going to walk the feet towards the hands. Big breath in, we're coming into our chair pose. So we're sitting back, tucking the tail under, pulling the belly button in. Breathe in here. On your next in breath, stand it all the way up. Hands to prayer. Breathing out, bring them to heart centre. So for the next section, we're going to come to a wide leg forward fold. So taking the legs and feet as wide as is comfortable for you turning the toes out just a little bit we're going to take a big breath in bring the arms up we're going to come to a half forward fold in this position we're going to reach through the hands really stretching through that back For three two one release all the way to the forward fold good at this point if you need to alter the feet just have a fidget to what's comfortable for you Take two deep breaths here.
on your next in breath you're going to bring it up to a half lift bring the right hand in front of the face drop it to the floor take the left hand towards the ceiling looking up towards that top thumb take three deep breaths in this twist Next out breath, bring that hand down, back into that forward fold. As you breathe in, lift up to that half lift. Bring the left hand in front of the face and onto the floor. As you breathe out, right hand goes towards the ceiling, looking towards that thumb. And we'll take three deep breaths here. On your next out breath, bring that hand down, back to your forward fold. As you breathe in, lift to a half lift, bring the arms up, stretch all the way through the body again. Breathe out, hands come to the hips, breathe in, come up. Good. We're going to step the feet together. We're going to breathe in, bringing the arms up. We're going to take hold of left wrist with right hand. And just gently stretch over to one side, to the right side, pushing that left hip away from the body. Really trying to open up that whole left side. We'll take one more deep breath. Bring it back to the top and release the hands. Good. Breathe in, arms come up, left hand on right wrist now, bending over to the left, pushing that right hip away. Really trying to stretch that whole right side now. One more deep breath. Coming back up and release. We're gonna bring it back to the floor now. So we're gonna step towards the front of the mat. Breathe in, arms come up. As you breathe out, we're going down to the toes. Breathe in, half lift, flat back. As you breathe out, bring the hands to the mat and step it back for plank. Breathe in here. As you breathe out, we're all gonna do knees, chin, chest, gentle cobra. Release to the floor, tuck the toes under, push it up and back for down dog. Then from here, we're just going to step it forward to a seated position. So if that means you come down onto the knees and then come into a seated position, that's fine. Or you can step right foot behind and knee behind the hands, left foot and knee, and then just roll it back to seated. So continuing with our back stretching, we're going to take the feet out in front of us for a seated forward fold. If you need a block underneath the bottom to lift the hips, please do. Sometimes that might put a bit of pressure on the knees. So you can put a block under the knees or a rolled up towel underneath the knees. If you can't get to the feet, you can always use a belt around the, the balls of the feet and just pull yourself gently towards it, towards the feet. Wherever you are, we're going to take a big breath in, arms come up, and as you breathe out, we're folding forwards, feet flexed, grab, grabbing hold of whatever you can. If you can only get the calves or ankles, that's fine. We're going to see if we can extend this stretch. So as you breathe in, we're going to ease off, and as you breathe out, you're going to see if you can drop lower. Breathe in and ease off. Breathe out and go lower. One more time. Breathe in, ease off. Breathe out and lower. 
Good. Walk yourself back up to a seated position. I'm going to bring the feet, soles of the feet together, knees out for a butterfly position. Again, if you need the block under your seat, feel free to still have it there. Try and sit yourself up tall so you can hold on to the ankles and just lift the chest, pulling yourself straighter. Take a couple of deep breaths here. leave the feet and legs as they are and bring the hands just underneath and behind the bottom and we're going to lower down onto the forearms just drop the head back for a reclined fish pose just counteract all that back stretching we've done so you're really trying to keep the elbows nice and tight shoulder blades together chest open head relaxed one more deep breath move the elbows out the way lower down to the mat we're going to bring the knees in for a gentle squeeze we're going to go into a supine twist so we're going to take the right leg long on the mat we're going to bend the right knee and bring it up take right hand to the left knee Pull it across the body, taking the left hand out to the side. You can either look at that left hand or to the ceiling, whatever feels comfortable. And if you can't go all the way to the floor, you can always bring it to a block at any position. We're going to take four deep breaths here, trying to relax into that back stretch. Slowly bring that left knee back up. Bring the right knee in. Give yourself a gentle squeeze. You can rock side to side. Whatever feels good for you. You're then going to take the left leg long. Left hand to right knee. Right arm comes out this time. And just roll over that right leg. Head can look in whichever direction is best for you. To the right hand or straight. Again, you can bring a block in under that knee if that feels good for you. And we'll take four deep breaths here. that knee back to centre, bring the left knee in for one final squeeze, just rocking side to side. You're going to let the right leg go long on the mat, the left leg go long on the mat. Bring the hands by the sides, palms facing up and we'll go into our Savasana. So if you want any extra blankets or cushions, bring them in now. We're going to close the eyes and slow down the breathing. On your next in-breath, take your attention to your toes, your feet and your legs. And as you breathe out, let all the tension melt away. On your next in-breath, take your attention to your hips, your back and your stomach. And as you breathe out, let all the tension melt away. On your next in-breath, take your attention to your fingers, your hands and your arms. 
And as you breathe out, let all the tension melt away. On your next in breath, take your attention to your chest and your shoulders. And as you breathe out, let all the tension melt away. On your next in breath, take your attention to your neck, face and head. And as you breathe out, let the last of the tension leave your body. We're going to lie here completely relaxed and breathing deeply on the mat. We begin now by waking up the body and just giving the toes and the fingers a bit of a wriggle. We're going to bring the feet together and take the hands and arms up and over the top of the head and stretch all the way from the fingers to the toes. When you feel ready, we're just going to roll onto our side. You can use your arm as a pillow and we'll take two more deep breaths here. Begin to push yourself back up to that comfortable seated position. Bringing that block back in underneath the seat if you need it. Bring the hands at prayer at heart center for three final deep breaths to lock in our practice. Okay, drop the hands in the lap, the chin to the chest, open the eyes and we're all done. Thank you very much for joining me on this wet and rainy Friday and I hope to see you again next week. Namaste.